So, apparently my hotkeys aren't working and I have to restart this anyway. So, I shall be back. Okay, so, we're back. Um, I remember the problem. Uh, Mass Effect 1 hates OBS. You have to run it as an administrator in order to, like, actually have the game come through. Otherwise, it just doesn't. So, here we are. Mass Effect. I just turned off my mouse for no reason. I am very, very scattered right now. I, I'm also very caffeined up. Uh, I was tired, so I need to stay awake. Caffeine. It's been a whole thing. Like, the past couple weeks have been a moment. Like, a, a big moment. Uh, where even are we? Why are you down there? Oh, whatever, Kaden. Anyway, so, yeah, things happening. It's, it's, it's chaos. 2020 had to kick me in the shins about four more times because, I don't know, it just didn't want to let me just stay. Okay, what am I actually doing? Missions. Okay, expose Saren. Speak to the ambassador. Okay, go to the docking bay. Don't even care where I was. I am having a moment. Big moment. Not a good moment, but a moment. It's it's fine. So yeah, you get a bit of a more high energy me. Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, whatever. I guess we'll go to where are we going? The embassies? We'll figure it out from there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I don't remember anything right now. All thoughts out of the head. Welcome to Presidium it's fine. Tourism It's, it's really fine. There are many points of interest here, including the Citadel Embassies and CSEC Headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Goodbye. Okay, yeah. Uh, Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please where did the journal say I was supposed to go again? <laughs> like I said, I'm just I'm I'm having a moment. Um I needed to go to CSEC Academy. For your visit okay. To the Citadel. You know what? Actually, I there's there's a thing, isn't there? There's a thing that I'm remembering that I I find no words for. It's fine. You know, sometimes that just happens where it's just lack of words. They don't come. Lady. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, I'm with the Spectres. Excellent. You should hear something in um, three or four months. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Melina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yeah. So you're getting high so energy me today because things are in my brain. Caffeine, uh, very stressed, busy. I, I don't have huh. the usual it exhaustion the factor taken for some you. reason. She'd like to meet with you now. What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. This is my first time. I can't believe I did. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Okay, that's a... Thing. Oh, 
Why do I keep thinking R? I'm just gonna... How do I detonate? Okay, that also works. Take out those hostiles! There, there are no hostiles. I'm just a bit of an idiot sometimes. That's fine. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Get to the point. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what yeah. I can do. Mission to Thank do you, Commander. on the Citadel. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about this me, I This is very I'm awkward very framing. Grateful. I really need to shut that part of my brain off. Ruins most media now for me. Now I must me. ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Like, do you know how it feels of, like, watching a show, a movie, whatever, and your brain just says, Oh, uh, I don't like how this is framed. I don't like this or that or the other thing, and <sighs> bothers me. Who knew learning more about things would make me even pickier? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. I've got plenty to do already. Of course you do. But this would be easy work for you, and I pay extremely well. Suspicious. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. I eliminate them and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. If you were smart, you would. You are the first human specter. And you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Chaotic Excellent. neutral. Here are the coordinates. Or, uh, when that, these men are dead, chaotic. I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? People already know. You are the great. one called Shepard. Beautiful. It is Why? a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. At least you're consistent. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? 
You're very blunt, Shepard. And you're right. But Rex has already told you far more than I know about this. I am sorry, but I have nothing else to offer. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I feel like Rex is, like, low-key a little bit upset. Like, dude, I, I told you this stuff. So we can go there, then to CSEC, and then... Shoop. Or no, we have to return. Not you. Oh well, it's fine. Why would they let me back in here, to be completely honest? Bothering you, General. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is the great Turian General. How did your kind ever defeat us? <laughs> I may be drunk, Krogan, but you're ugly. Well, tomorrow I'll be sober. Unless you have a cure for this ache in my gut, go away. Some general. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Okay, kind of sweet, Look, but she doesn't want I that, so... I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Never let the enemy see your weakness. You know that, General. Enemies? The one place I always felt at peace was with her. But now... So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? <laughs> I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? That depends. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why is that? Because you told because him. Because I told yeah. him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I, I was disparaging his ancestors and shouting his secrets in the public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about okay. Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day actually Spectre, so, you know, a little bit different. Ah, we love the random glitches of Mass Effect 1. And it is just genuinely random glitches. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. I like never buy anything, which is a bit of a problem considering it would probably be beneficial, but. The first time I played this, it took forever for me to figure out how to change your equipment. Is that real? You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Do I know you? Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. My name is Conrad, Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Really? They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. 
Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. Really? I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Like, such a pretty world. Just, like, the tech and everything. It's pretty! I want to live in here. Like, not literally, but... You know, like, it, it's... It's a good environment. I want to exist in said Word environment. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. I I'm tempted, but I shouldn't. I had to kill people for these discs. They're worth more than you're offering. I didn't tell you to kill Fist, but you're right. I suppose that I did ask you to help me, so... Wait, Here, you really thought I would just walk adequate. into his office and now, steal his files? Me, I should go see what's on these discs. Just nothing? Really? I got shot at for that. Hey, Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Anything you need? I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Oh no, I forgot. It's an elevator. It's an elevator. It's it's fine. It's fine that it's an elevator. Oh gosh. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Obviously. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Well, I mean, colonialism isn't a great thing anyway, so... Docking bay. Wonderful. I've... Wait. I was supposed to do the thing, wasn't I? You've got oh, well. impressive It'll be biotic fun. power. Humans should never have switched to the weaker L3 implants. My addicts can be pretty bad, and I'm one of the lucky L2 implants. The L3s are safer. You don't stop using a gun just because the kickback has a little sting. I mean, I guess it would depend on personal preference. I mean... I don't know. Gosh, elevators! I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Better be. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. 
Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. I'll start there simply because I don't know if I should do- I don't ru- Novaria's the one that's glitchy. So maybe I'll do Novaria first? I don't know. I don't need to do this, Thinky, because I don't really think it matters what I say here. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. We'll be back there later. Because I forgot that I had to check in. In it's other fine. news, Exogeny Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. I hate the elevator scenes. Elevator scenes. Elevator scenes. It's not fun. So apparently, like, the sizing, it is cut off a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. It's cut off a little because, I mean, what are you missing? Financial district, consort chambers. You're missing some of those dialogue choices and, like, the top bit of the screen. Like, just enough that it, you can't see Citadel Rapid Transit at the very, very top. It's fine. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. I can't spend gratitude. I would not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone really appreciates not that moving. it. It's fine. It's Never fine. underestimate fine. the power of words. True. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Oh, 
Bubble up. Good. Um. You die a lot. And then barrier help. I know, I start with so, like, high energy, and now we're just kind of getting tired again. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, no, I picked up small odd jobs and, uh, not really conducive to, to a nice sleep schedule for me. It's fine. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Actually, he did find out on his own. Here, this proves it. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Though the UI is better in Mass Effect uh, 2. That's what it's called. Later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate.
Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. Crew, this is Commander Shepard. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. Fancy speeches won't stop Saren from finding the conduit. True. If we really want to make the Captain proud, we better get this bird in the air. Yes, ma'am. And Joker is good at that. in like the past I don't know how many years it's been a while commander I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface it looks like an automated distress beacon okay Let's get that beacon. Whether or not that's where we're supposed to go. I know, I know it's probably not where we're supposed to go, but it's fine. Okay, so I need yeah, biotic and tech. Which means I really need Liara in order to have a balanced squad. But I guess not. Whoa. See how many times I can flip this.
do I flip this again? F. How do I flip this? Okay, they need a whole section just for the... Okay. So... I died. I died. Because I flipped and I couldn't do anything about it. That is the Mako for you. It, it's just how it is. This is why they got rid of you. You're terrible. Well, no. frankly, I do like the Mako. I think it's fun. However, died again, and this time because I was just an idiot. It's fine. I know, thank you. Oh yes, that, that lovely reminder that I'm not good at combat at all. And then just so we won't have to drive all the way over here again, We'll save. It's fine. Alliance soldiers. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. These are Admiral Kahoku's men. We need to tell them what happened here. Oh, 
Or we can do that. That's fun. Is this it? I feel like this isn't it. But this is kind of dull. We were supposed to go rescue Liara and instead I'm I'm distracted by a Mako mission. And then actually find Liara? Since that's what we were supposed to be doing? Okay, so they don't know where she is. And I don't remember, so it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. This is part of the fun, having not played this game in so long that, you know, you can actually kind of enjoy it for the first time again, almost. Which means I have to go to a different system! It'll be fine. Besides, you have that very pretty loading screen. Unfortunate. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. This would probably be easier with a controller than with, like, button keys. I don't know, I've never played Mass Effect 1 with the controller. It's okay.
Once again, reminders. I can't drive! In video games, specifically. Whoop. Fine. We're fine. Now we're parked. Yeah, that's a pistol. like save and then if I see equipment we'll do that later annoying or anything. <sighs> oh, wait. Whatever. <laughs> Ooh. and then oh 
Oh wait, I don't use a shotgun. That's pointless. <laughs> right there. You mostly just use a pistol too, don't you? Do I really do I really want to invest in that though? Nice equipment for you. I'm sorry, Rex. It's fine. Ooh, yeah, Unity. then deal with this. And I just sneezed. And I'm running out of time. It's fine. die. We'll save again. Equipment. Okay. Take. Didn't I have the recoil? But a... no combat sensor. Combat sensor two. Equipped. Go back to mods. Reduce that to Omni job. Oh yeah, I wanted to save. I should have just quick saved. I forget quick save is a thing.
we're just gonna get there, okay? That, that's the goal, just get there. Save. That is a thing. Oh, I think I just ran him over to death. That's fine. He's technically a robot, so... I know, I know, I said, we'll get there, and then it'll be fine. I'm a bit of a liar when it comes to that. easier when you know you don't do the stupid thing
Oh yeah. Really need to save for this because I remember this. It's a pain. Or, you know, they can also do this and always forget about that cutscene. You say that like you are in any way useful. And I don't mean that against Kaden. He just... Legitimately. The man died twice in one fight. I'm pretty sure it might have been more. Okay, so we're going in. And then... I really must stop because... But I'm so close. No. No. We're stopping. We'll do equipment first. Right, right. Yeah, equipment first. It's fine.
reduced omni gel reduced omni gel mark all entries viewed mark all entries viewed and now we're done for the night the day still day anyway final things I am still annoyed with people not wearing masks so if you would like um for some reason I just changed my weapons because apparently that button changes just weapons it's fine um yes I'm annoyed by people not wearing masks thus I have decided to respond to that with a 25% off sale until the end of the year that is until December 31st, 2020, use the code BYE2020 to get 25% off my Teespring store. Because please, wear your masks. Seriously. I cannot be angrier about this. Unfortunately, my anger often comes off very calm. Please wear masks. Please, 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 please. I will drop the code in the chat, just to be uh, visual, but yeah, please wear masks. Yeah. On the other hand, for Christmas, my brother got me a new graphics card and I'm very excited about it because I need a new graphics card. I have the 760. It's, it's, it's old. On the other hand, I am now noticing that this is a very, very loud keyboard. Don't know why that popped into my head, but yeah. The link for my Teespring is, there is an extension below, and uh, there is a link on my About page. The one I will be directing to is the About page. Yes, it is under wear a mask, please. Please wear a mask. Please. 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 I cannot beg enough. Please wear masks. Because for any other, any, anything else, anything else, genuinely, I am angry that I got to see no one for the holidays. I literally stayed home with my mom, my brother could not come down for Christmas because one of his roommates tested positive and we are hoping that he will get better. Thank you for the person that decided to follow me. I, I really appreciate it. But please, just, I can't stress enough, wear your masks. They're really not that uncomfortable. And to be honest, right now it's cold. Keep that nose warm with a mask. Anyway, that is all for tonight. I have harped enough. Goodbye.